Yo, what's up guys, Shujinkadink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Mortal Kombat player. And this video is all about my Combat Cup Week 4 matches. This week I decided to commentate over them while I'm playing. Uh, just to kind of give you guys like more of an idea of what's going on through my head while I'm playing and, and whatnot. So, uh, I got a really tough bracket this week. I don't even know if I'll make it past the first round, honestly. But, uh, hopefully we'll do my best. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that you can find this more entertaining. Let me know if you... Uh, prefer me commentating this over um, just watching the matches because I'm not like as serious or, or I'm not like as goofy and stuff when I'm playing in a tournament that's why I don't always put commentary on it. I'm just kinda like playing and focusing so um, first opponent Takeda don't know this guy at all I've heard that he's not too bad but uh, Quan doesn't really do that good against Takeda I'm not sure if it's a losing matchup, but it takes a lot of patience. It's easier now that they changed some things about him um, post patch, but okay, it looks like he was trying to run back there. I'm gonna push him to the corner here. Gotta be aware of the wake up. That was not the wake up I was expecting, but he did it, so that was unsafe. I'm not gonna use meter there because that's a easy punish. I think he tried to dash there, but he didn't have the stamina. Okay. Push him down. Rune. Rune. Okay, so I have one bar meter. He almost has two. Full screen. I think he's going to teleport. In between rounds, I always try to look at both players' meters. Just to kind of get a read on what the next thing they do might be. Oh man, I just let him walk up and throw me. Oh, I guessed wrong. Oh, that's safe, I think. Tried to tech that, but it was too slow. Oh, they always do the neutral jump punch after the block teleport. Or tornado kick flip or whatever. Kickflip. We playing Skate 3 over here? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna see if I can wake up Command Grab with this Interactable. Is that gonna kill him? Holy s <laughs> Wow. I, uh, that was a good read, I guess. <laughs> As a Quan player, you're always looking for Interactables. As we don't really have any armor, so. Sorry if you can hear anything in the background. We got Bosses Dragons watching some shows. That's how you gotta compete if you're a single dead. Back one. Oh, nice back dash. Oh, didn't know that was an overhead. Ah, oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, then he uses it on me. That's actually smart on his behalf, because now I don't have it to use in the corner anymore. I got embodied this round. At full meter, he has one. I want him to use that one bar meter, and this should be a good round. Well, I was expecting teleport. Ah, oh, see, last time I read the neutral jump punch, he didn't do it. Should have used a bar meter there, but it's all right. Oh, I missed the end here. Got a break. That sucks. Down three ex rune seems to work quite often. It's forward one stagger. He's gonna break here. That's all right. He's a lot less scary without meter. Oh, I did not expect that. I expected a throw there. That was good on him. Good on him, sir. No reason to s switch away from Summoner here. Summoner's doing a good job, I think. 
I'm just making some silly mistakes and bad reads. Oh, uh, didn't hit confirm that properly. Not gonna use any meter here, because I think he's gonna break. Ah, he keeps hitting me with that, because I don't expect him to use it. He uses it in places that no other Takeda players really do. Ah, I dropped my freaking combo leg spike. Shit. That really sucks. I had that combo and I freaking got a leg spike. That would have been the ground, too. Oh, he broke right away. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Neutral jump punch vortex. There's a bar meter to keep him standing. Fun to blockable because I don't want to take any risks. I need that round really badly. This guy is so unpredictable, it's really hard. Use bar meter there. And I'm going to do 4 2 1 2 2 because, oh, I timed it wrong. Luckily, that's not a launcher anymore. Oh, I was supposed to be back too, but I got one too. Nope. Oh my god. I'm gonna make him break here. Throw and room. Okay, good. Two to one lead, so he's probably gonna either counter pick me with somebody or no, maybe not. He's sticking with Takeda. Okay. Get ready, Quan Chi. I'm bristling with a round one. Okay, so we got the mix up with one bar. I'm full screen. He's been trying to move after that. Oh, I should have done down three, not down one, but. Down three, ace rune. He likes to break, so he's going to break here. <laughs> oh, I got so lucky there. I actually even delayed it a little bit because I had a feeling that he was going to do that. That's unsafe. I'm gonna punish that. Match point. Uh, he's got a little bit more meter than me coming up on a breaker, but he uses the breakers all the time, so I'm. He's gonna break here, so I'm not gonna do EX Trance. Now I'm gonna use EX Trance. Let's go for a read overhead. Full combo. This won't kill, but it'll be pretty darn close. All right, and we did it. First opponent's out of the way. Um, made some good reads. I had to be more patient, try and catch up to him. So, uh, he said good games. What a gentleman. Okay, so match two here. I got to go against Goro in Kinetic Rev. I'm not too stoked on this matchup isn't very good for Quan Chi. But my goal here is to get him in the uh, vortex and just kind of keep him there for as long as I can. So see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Okay. 
so I got the first bar meter. the armored I tend to try and counter Goro a lot with throws because if you do a reversal back throw it's about 9 frames and he's fairly safe on most of his stuff, which is really annoying. Oh, I thought I escaped with a backdash. That sucks. Now I'm in the corner, which really sucks. Oh, overhead. I'm not breaking. Save as much as my meter as I can for the next round. Try and come back strong. Ah, oh, and here. I'm gonna break. That was smart. Ah, as soon as I jumped, I knew that he was going to do that. Once I got in the corner, it was over. I did alright mid-screen, but... Just got to keep it mid-screen, keep them mixed. Let's report my score here. Man, that's such a good tool. So you can poke into that little swirly thing over and over again. He decided to use two bars for the launcher. So he's got no mirror, he's gonna knock me down. Ah, oh, I tried to do EX. Dang it. I'm just gonna trance. Oh, he almost got hit by it. I'm gonna break. combo. Man, he's got two bars here. Oh no he doesn't. How lucky am I going to get here? Ah, chipped out. That was really smart of him to duck that throw though. I don't know if I can come back three games in a row on Rev. I am going to switch just for the heck of it because I feel like I'm doing okay, but I just want to try this out anyways. It's probably not ready for tournament yet, but I don't feel confident enough to go with Quan. There's a reason that uh, I actually thought about using Sub-Zero was 
because of uh, this matchup and smoke. Because I feel like I have options that Quan doesn't in both of those matchups. Aw, oh, dang. Made the wrong read there. I thought he was going to duck. Aw, oh, good read. That pick did not pay off for me, apparently. Launcher. Ah, oh, and I lost. I actually didn't do too bad with Sub Zero, though. Well, the first round kind of sucked, but. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I guess that's it for this video. Didn't do too well this week, but, you know, started off strong and then kind of just sucked after that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, subscribe if you like because we make videos like this all the time. Every Sunday, actually, for the next month or so. <laughs> Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we will see all you guys in the next video.